Welcome to GamecockScoop.com, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks on Rivals.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on all your favorite podcast apps and on every social media at Rivals Gamecock. Welcome back. My name is Pauline Hendricks, host of the Short Sports Scoop, presented by GamecockScoop.com, and I'm again with my co-host, Fort. How's it going? Good. How are we doing? Doing well, doing well. So couple of things we have to uh, touch on really quickly. So big news over the weekend, Gigi Jackson announced that he is reclassifying as a 2022 commit and is going to be playing for the Gamecocks men's basketball team this upcoming season, which is really exciting. We've been trying to keep y'all up to date on any basketball news, but this is really the first big news that we have been able to share with you guys. On top of that, we have the cookout coming this weekend where all the incoming recruits that we have welcomed home so far for the class of 2023, class of 2024, et cetera, they will be coming here down to South Carolina this weekend and hopefully get into meet and greet and talk with the coaches and learn more about what they're going to be getting themselves into. So segueing. last weekend slash last week, we had media days, which was a very cool event. Um, Shane Beamer brought in only seniors, which was really cool, but there was um, a missing player that a lot of the media uh, outlets were kind of wondering like, hey, where is Spencer Rattler? Like, but Shane made sure, or Shane Beamer made sure that he really was giving um, these seniors the attention that they deserved, and let like allow the world to see all their hard work. Like, sure. if I was a senior, I would definitely feel the same way as I would want to be there as well. So yeah. that was really cool. I think it's definitely um, a testament to like kind of what he values, like loyalty and, and that kind of stuff. I mean, these guys were just like the previous staff, so for him to. Let them, you know, have their day to shine and, and answer all those questions in terms of you know, how far the programs come and whatnot. I think it's a it's a big testament to who he is. So I totally agree with you. And honestly, that was the, my first thought. And then also to the fact that you just said they're really the people that can give the most insight on how much the program has changed just on a personal level like that. And I mean, again, I've always talked about it. I'm a big proponent of like how far it's come, just like mental health wise and just like the environment that they're constantly in is not this like terrible, like beat you down 24 seven type of environment. It's very uplifting. It's very empowering. Like these kids deserve to be there essentially. Yeah, for sure. But even though Spencer Rattler was not there, um, our insider Alan Cole was able to get uh, a quote from the Vanderbilt quarterback, Mike Wright, because both of them kind of built a relationship over the course of their time at the Manning Passing Academy during the off season. And uh, Alan got the quote from Mike. He's a big time quarterback who can really sling the ball and he's a great dude. We're all in the group chat together, all of us, and we all talk in it every day. And he also said in that same article, which you can find online, He also mentioned that even though Spencer has gotten, um, you know, not the greatest press in the world, he doesn't really deserve it. He's a great guy. And, I mean, clearly the Gamecocks are super excited to on our team. And I think he really can turn this around for us, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I know we played that um, that kid last year in, in a close game. Um, I think he played pretty well. I mean, that was his first, like, real test in the red and the SEC and stuff. So for him to say that, I mean, I think, I think he gave a little bit a little bit of creds to not only Spencer Rattler, but, like, the like just the environment that the Williams Bryce provides. And, and oh, man, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I honestly forgot what I was even saying or whatever. Yeah. Um. So I think it's really cool that um, even Mike Wright, who isn't even part of this new Gamecocks program, is kind of shining a light even more on the fact that our incoming QB kind of has that family um, value instilled in him because they talk all the time. They're not even on the – they're technically supposed to be opponents, Mm -hmm. but um, still share a very positive relationship, which I think – 
um, just will add a lot to the team in general. Sure. I mean, I, I think anytime you get like credit from a, from a, you know opposing quarterback, the guy you're probably gonna play, you're definitely gonna play down the road this year. You know, barring injury, I think that's a testament to. I mean, players know each other better than you know anybody on a message board or, or anything like that. Um, I mean, players know each other, so for him to say that and kind of go out of his way to to give credit where credits due, I think it says a lot about you know Spencer's character and you know, how much he's matured. So, I totally agree with you. So going off of that. Due to all of this positive publicity, what type of positive impact do you think Spencer himself is going to bring to the team? Um, I think there's a lot. I mean, obviously, this guy, he's played with, you know, being in Oklahoma, obviously, he was, you know, with Coach Beamer previously. So, he, you know, he knows how he coaches. He knows how he is with players. I, mean, I, I think that will have, like, a, you know, a drip, a drip down effect on, on the, rest of the, the rest of the team and a lot of the new guys come in, especially the young quarterbacks we have. Brandon Davis and Tanner Bailey. Um, also, I mean, I think he's, you know, been groomed. I mean, he's kind of built for it. This kid was, you know, a five-star at high school, and he's played with two former um, Heisman finalists and NFL quarterbacks right now and, and um, you know, uh, mm-hmm. Jared and Kyler. So, for him, and obviously that connection with Baker Mayfield, I mean, Oklahoma is a quarterback factory. Uh, so, for him, I mean, he's, he's seen the best of the best and – being coached by Lincoln Riley and again, you know, Beamer at, at Oklahoma. You know, I think it's says a lot. He's bringing on, you know, a lot of leadership qualities. And I think he has something to prove. Do you think, do you think that the previous relationship that uh, Beamer and Spencer had at Oklahoma, do you think that will serve as kind of, um, kind of as an example, as a role model to the younger kids that you were saying? Do you think that'll help in the long run? For sure. I mean, especially in recruiting. I mean, if, if you're like in terms of younger kids, I mean, uh, this is the first, you know, big time, you know, high priority name we've, we've had in the building since like Connor. Sh- I mean, we've recruited some guys like, you know, Helensky. Yeah, of course. But they really haven't panned out. I mean, they've been great ambassadors of the program, but like on the field, it hasn't been what everybody hoped for. So, I mean, obviously, you know, he hasn't even played a snap yet, technically in, in the uniform, but I, mean, I think we're going to see a lot more confident, confident quarterback play this year. So. I'm excited. I think I, I hope so too. Especially like spreading the ball around and whatnot. I mean, these kids, like especially quarterbacks, I feel like if you're getting recruited, it's a lot of like you're looking into a system. So for yeah. in Coach Shatterfield, he runs that like you know that pro offense. So for them, I think it, you know if everything can click and and he can get the ball to his playmakers and we can put up some points, we'll definitely get some guys. Yeah, I know. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully, there will be. Um, a very evident um, change in our quarterback lineup and our quarterback performance. But um, one thing I did also want to touch on, this is kind of um, kind of a little fun. So over SEC Media Days, um, a little video went viral all over um, all over the internet. So if you haven't seen it, y'all should go look it up after this. But Shane Beamer had a lovely little TikTok of him prepping for media day with the three seniors. And it was just the most amazing video I have ever seen ever. It just speaks to him, like who he is as a person, like to a T. freaking hilarious. Soldier have you Shane. seen it yet? Soldier Shane. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, 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 I know, for real. I mean, he's done it a couple times. I mean, this man, for some that, reason, cannot get off the internet. <laughs> I think he just gets it, you know what I mean? I mean, you got to kind of market yourself and, and your program, you know, like that. I, I totally I, agree. Some way or another. I mean, Muschamp wouldn't have done it, though. I feel like he, like, the fact that he can still have fun with it, like, just yeah. adds so much energy. I think props like Justin King, too, and, and all those guys in like, the creative department. I think they're doing a really cool job. Mm. I think them together, all of them working, they get such cool results and such cool content. And hopefully, because we'll have a media pass, so I'll be up on the press booth sometimes. Ford might be there as well, a couple of games. But hopefully we'll be able to start getting some cool content too. Um, So our little fun segment, kind of off of that, but since this man is such a colorful uh, personality and it seems very fun, um, we're gonna, we came up with questions to ask him. So we're each going to ask one question and this is what I would have said to him. Well, I actually did say this. I was able to talk with him in one of my classes last semester, but, um, if I was to ask Shane Beamer one question, it would be, 
this, which was I asked him if last season, the first game cock walk that he did, there were so many pictures, goes to him going viral again everywhere. So there was pictures all over after from Justin and all of them, but it just how he looked in the pictures he just looked so like immersed in the experience, just enjoying every single second of it looked so happy. So what I asked him was, was that like a valid portrayal? Like, were you feeling that exact same feeling that like the picture showed? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. I wish it never ended. Like I like wanted to be in that moment forever. Like he loved, he talked about it for at least like a, solid three minutes out of like all the other questions I'm not gonna brag but like (laughs) it definitely was really cool to hear just like because I would love to I would love to be in that experience so like just hearing how like cool it was to have the first Gamecock walk like after the whole hype the build-up of him like coming to South Carolina like all the hints that like He's going to do great things here. And then seeing just like everybody celebrating him just like was like, whoa, I loved it. Like, I'm just like thinking about it now. I'm jealous. (laughs) But I don't know. What is what's your question? I mean, that was a story and a question, but I don't know. (laughs) I mean, I would probably just ask him like I'd probably ask him something a little off brand, like especially with his dad being being who he is and being, you know, Hall of Famer and having some success, you know, at at Virginia Tech. I'd probably just ask him like, what's the most thing, like, what's the most important thing he, he learned from his dad and how is that transition, like, in the way he, he approaches coaching today? So. That's a great, that's a, I think that's a great, um, goes to the whole family, his kids, mm-hmm. everybody, like, that shows up at um, all the game, cock walks, all the games, all that, supporters, all that. It, it, it would be interesting to see just out of all the lessons that he was given, like what one was the most important. Did it even relate to football or was it something fatherly, father and son type of tip? I don't know, but that would be interesting to find out for sure. Yep. Well, all right. So that is all for us today. Um, all right, hold on. I just screwed it up, (laughs) but yeah, so hold on, but, um, all right. So that is all for us this week for the short sports scoop. Come join us next week. We'll have a whole new, uh, list of topics to cover to keep y'all updated. Check out our website, gamecockscoop.com for all of your South Carolina news. So, all right, see you next week.